Hello, this is Hey Friend. This time, I launched the Flutter Plug Essential course as a second Flutter state manual tutorial following the Flutter Provider Essential course. The Flutter Plug Essential course covers the most recent version of Plug 8.0 or higher. The Flutter Plug Essential course consists of Plug Overview, which provides an overview of the Plug concept and creating to do, weather, and five with authentication apps that practice the concept in action. It's a very similar configuration to Flutter Provider Essential and creates the same app in app creation. This is because, as I mentioned in the Flutter Provider Essential course, I think that creating the same app with different solutions will help in comparative analysis and selection between solutions. And therefore, those who have taken the Flutter Provider Essential course can access it more easily. In Block Overview, we'll look at the basic concepts of Qubit and Block. Various widgets such as Block Provider, Block Builder, Block Listener, and Block Consumer provided by Flutter Block, and learn about the own event API newly introduced from version 7.2. Next, we'll learn how to provide additional information to Qubits or Blocks in the UI, and how to communicate when one state depends on another that is, between qubits or blocks, and what to watch out for when accessing blocks in widget tree. And in Flutter block, there is a function that can track what is happening in qubit or block. We'll look at the function. Next, in the case of block, the event is a stream. And what we do when we need to pre-process the event, that is, event transformation. And we'll learn about hydrate block, which provides a way to persist the state and when to use qubit and when to use block for qubit and block, two state management tools provided by Flutter block, and implement to-do app and weather app four times. For each of the two state management methods provided by Flutter block, qubit and block creates a version that uses stream subscription or block listener as a communication method between qubits or blocks. I think you can get a lot of practice in this process and the 5S authentication app is created by configuring the combination of qubit, block, and stream subscription. Next, let's take a look at the main content of each section. This tutorial is, consists of introduction, block overview, to-do app, weather app, 5S authentication app, miscellaneous. The introduction is a section that includes the video you are currently viewing. It talks about the background behind the making of this tutorial the target audience, the tutorial overview, and the tools needed for the tutorial. The vlog overview section is a section to look at the general information about block, and it covers block 8.0 and later versions. Block is an abbreviation for business logic component, and you can think of it as the brain of the app. There are two ways to implement block, qubit and block. To do state management using qubit, define the state and implement a public function they can change the state. On the other hand, to perform state management using block, define state and event, and implement an event handler that can change the state. Some people are reluctant to, to use block because they need to define and handle events additionally. But you can experience that handling events is not too cumbersome through this tutorial. And there are cases where you need to know the value of another state to get the state value. In Flutter block, the entity that handles state is qubit or block. So, in order to know the state value of other qubits or blocks, communication between qubits or blocks must be possible. You will learn how to communicate. Next, let's find out what tools qubit or block provides so that you can use the functions provided by qubit or block in the UI. And the async generator, a nested async generator, one of the things that beginners were reluctant to use block were no longer needed from version 8.0. Instead, learn about the newly introduced on-event API. Flood block allows you to observe what is going on in qubit or block. Learn how to observe qubit or block. Next, we'll learn about event transformation, which is the advantage of block compared to qubit. Event transformation refers to the operation of transforming an event to suit the characteristic of the app before handling the event. An app's state is volatile by default. When the app is hard restarted or rebooted, the state is reset. 
However, there are cases where persisting state is desirable, such as in a shopping cart app. Learn about hydrate block, then make it easy to implement the state persistence. Next, we'll learn when to use qubits and when to use blocks. This section covers the different cases you may encounter when creating a real app while creating multiple small apps. After completing this section, I think your overall understanding of block will increase greatly. The first app we are going to make using block is the well-known to-do app. I think that anyone who has ever programmed has probably heard of the to-do app, regardless of the language. The to-do app was chosen as the first app and it is a very good app for learning since you can easily adjust the difficulty according to what you make. In this section, we will learn various state management techniques using block we can use when making to-do apps. First, after implementing the to-do app by using qubit for state management and stream subscription for communication between qubits, we will refactor by using block listener for communication between qubits. And after refactoring to-do app by using block for state management and stream subscription for communication between blocks. Finally, we will refactor by using block listener for inter-block communication. There is also an explanation about the block listener in the overview section. The reason we are refactoring the same app multiple times is because I believe that repetition is the most effective way to learn. The weather app will be the second app we will make using block, although the to-do app, the first app, deals with various methods of using blocks. It does not have async operations essential for modern apps, such as remote API calls and reading, writing to the database. In the weather app, we plan to create an app that reads and displays weather-related data of a city from metaweather.com and change the theme of the app according to the temperature. It will also present a simple architecture consisting of a level of service, repository, a block. In the weather app, as we did in the to-do app, after implementing the weather app by using qubit for state management and stream subscription for communication between the qubits, we will refactor using block listener for the communication between qubits. And after refactoring the weather app again by using block for state management, and stream subscription for the communication between blocks we will refactor by using block listener for communication between blocks. I'm sure you will become quite familiar with the block since you will implement apps a total of eight times. The last one is a 5S authentication app. 5S is one of the most important options for building Flutter apps. It's the best solution, especially for quickly prototyping ideas to see the feasibility of your app. Many apps want to verify a user's identity. If you can verify the identity of the user, you can provide a better service. However, this identity verification and user authentication is by no means a simple system. If user identity verification is essential to implementing an idea, 5S is a great option in the early stage of concept implementation. 5S provides various authentication methods such as email, password, social login, etc. and by default it provides authentication related status as a stream. That is, whenever the authentication status changes, such as user was authenticated, they had logged out, or the user status changes, the changes status is provided in real time. The authentication method we will deal with in this app is the email and password method and we will implement the sign up, sign in, and sign out. In this 5S authentication app, we will implement with a mixture of block and qubit. The miscellaneous section is composed of content that is vague in which section it belongs to, but is helpful when building a flow app. For example, dot data class generator VS Code extension or a catable. This is a section that will continue to grow in the future.